This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk about uh, Dick Murdoch. Uh, he passes away here June 15th at the very young age of just 49 years old. Any good Dick Murdoch stories you can share with us? Oh yeah. You know, Dickie's one of my favorite guys. Uh, so we're at, after a show in new Orleans, I got a, I have a van and Murdoch Murdoch liked to drive my van. So consequently he rode, I rode with, in my van down by the river, <laughs> uh, with Dickie. And so we're going down to bourbon street after the show's over and we go in this club. And of course he's a, as he would say on my C, CB radio. Uh, he was the territory's number one baby face. That's what, that was his handle. 10, four territory's number one baby face here. He did that to screw with bill, uh, cause he was Texas and Texan and cowboy was the anointed baby face, the big Oklahoma cowboy, blah, blah, blah. So go to this bar and, uh, have a, some drinks, obviously. And this lady comes over and sits with us. And it's really, uh, shining up to old Dick. I didn't mean to sweat sounded, but you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so, so Dickie, uh, oh, he's all over her and, and she's, she's statuesque, man. She's like six, two, I bet, uh, and all that. So, uh, she excuses herself to go to the facilities. And he's now he's cutting his little promo to me. I'm a, hey, here's what we'll do. You know, here's the plan B. Uh, we'll, we'll just stay here tonight and I'll get her to come to my hotel. Blah, blah, blah. If that's all right with you, I don't, we don't need to drive. I'm tired anyway. Okay. Whatever Dickie. So you're not going to convince him. Otherwise you're not going to talk Dickie out of, out of sex. And I didn't want to be the guy that had that task. So anyway, uh, as he is, uh, describing his a uh, fantasy with this woman, he says, man, he's been drinking a lot of beer, uh, like by the pitcher, out of the pitcher. And he goes, he said, I gotta, I gotta take a leak. So he goes to the bathroom and I, at, at, and about that time I hear a gasp and a pop and, uh, and all kinds of activities going on. And here he comes and he says, get the hell out of here. I, I thought he might've killed this person, but what happened was when Murdoch went into the men's room, there she was in her full glory. It was a man. Okay. And so we leave to go get our or park, the uh, van down by the river. And he says, we're walking fast, like fast, fast walk. And she so stops all of a sudden, grabs me by the shirt. He said, if you ever tell anybody this story, I will kill you. Well, until he died, I didn't tell that story. <laughs> I was radio silence with the, and certainly not at the arena with the boys, you know, he had to protect his gimmick and his image. So what he did, he just knocked this. He saw that this was a female, uh, I don't know if it's a female impersonator or a transgender. I don't know what, and I'm not being flippant here. I don't know what, what that person considered themselves, but he just knocked her ass out or his ass out colder than a wedge down goes Frazier. Wow. And, uh, but Dickie was just a crazy son of a bitch. You know, he, he's a member of the clan. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You, know, you didn't know that. Well, listen, I heard there were whispers and there were, there were rumors, but you can confirm them. Well, I can, all I can confirm. He had a clan card. Oh my. So holy cow, dude, this was not a great person. I <laughs> know sometimes he wasn't, he was lovable and friendly and fun, but he had some strange beliefs. You know, I remember going to this nice restaurant and I, 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 he ordered for me because he's taking me under his wing. Right. So he ordered some, we had one of the side items was we had broccoli. He said, you got to eat broccoli with mayonnaise. Oh, so, so he had to bring out this big dollop of mayonnaise. Oh, yeah, I know, but that was, that was Dickie. So he was, uh, 
but let me tell you something. When he wanted, when he was on working wise, he was fabulous, fabulous. If he had been more if Dickie Murdoch had been more reliable and less of pain, in the ass, uh, if so, not so politically incorrect, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, he would probably been the NWA champion. That's how good he was. But then the promoters would go for it because they knew Dickie. He's not the kind of guy he's, he's, it's not a good role for him. Right. You know, cause especially in that era when you had guys like the, you know, Jack Briscoe and Dory and Terry, and all these old pros that were reliable. Uh, it was just, he just, uh, he wasn't, you couldn't trust him in that respect. If you did, I remember him telling me one time, uh, he was late for so many shots, all this stuff. And cowboy ran a pretty stiff ship on red last Dick Murdoch story here. And he says, uh, so he finds Dickie Murdoch, everything he makes, but a dollar. So for a whole week's work and it was a good week, uh, but he was late every night and just defiant, but flaunting in cowboy's face. So cowboy find him every dollar he would have earned, but one. So he got a check for $1 for his week's work. Wow. And, uh, I was in the I was with him when he, when he got his check, I'm, I'm not even delivered a check. I'm not sure coming from Oklahoma and the office. And he said, well, I got this figured out. This is going to, he thinks he's smart kid. I said, yeah, he's pretty smart. No, here's what's going to happen. You know how meticulous he is. He's just whatever. He didn't know how to say he's anal or whatever, but he's meticulous. He's not going to, he's the kind of guy that has to have every no account for every dime. So what I'm going to do Conrad is I'm not going to ever cash this check. And as long as I never cash this check, his bank account will never be balanced. <laughs> it will drive him wild to find out where this dollar is. That's tremendous. Yeah. And as I remember the story, uh, he took that check and framed it and put it into his, uh, infamous bar in, uh, Amarillo called Dick's dive. It was, it was, it was, a, in a frame on the wall. So that was Murdoch in a nutshell. I, I, the last thing I'll say is that he got into a red hot program with killer Carl Cox, who was like a mentor to Dickie and probably fundamentally is, was as good a heel as I ever saw a uh, killer Carl Cox and Murdoch was too, when he wanted to be, but on the, they had this angle going and Murdoch pushes. Uh, Cox or Cox pushes Murdoch back in the corner and, uh, I'm on the left side cause both guys are right-handed. I'll get away from their dominant arm as a referee. And, uh, so Murdoch's doing his shimp routine. He had routines in all these different characters in life and shimp of the three stooges was one of them. He'd do the little thing or he'd spin around on his arm or he'd do this old deal, you know? this Cox didn't play that game. Homie didn't play that. So Cox hit that son of a bitch with a six inch punch. Boom. And, and Cox said to me, I'm standing there, grab him, grab him. So I got under one arm and Cox got in because Cox didn't want Dickie to take a bump. What time? So he said, quit fucking around. I'm trying to make money here. Dickie quit fucking around. And then Murdoch snapped out of like he came out of a trance, like a hypnotic trance. And they proceeded to have the damnedest match you'd ever want to see. So he was a character to say the very least. And, uh, and, and he had, everybody's got Murdoch stories. I got some unique ones. Obviously you just heard a couple of them real quickly, but, uh, he was when he wanted to be great. He could be as great as anybody out there. He just, he just was a, he was just crazy. If it was the night he wanted to work, he's going to, he's going to work your ass. If it's the night he wanted to play, unless you're somebody like Carl Cox, who can command his attention. That's what you're going to get. Hey, big daddy, you got to get excited about saving people money. Woo. Woo. Let's save with Conrad.com. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.